Today we're going to take some time and look at the Taskade, a platform that lets you and your team get together, collaborate and get things done. First of all, we'll try and sign up from three different devices. After that, we'll have a look at the Taskade user interface. In part three, we'll delve more deeply into what Taskade can actually do and its functionality. In part four, we'll have a look at the project management tool and how can Taskade help you stay on top of things. And finally, we'll draw some conclusions to see whether it is a right tool for you and your team. Taskade can be accessed through different means. I'm going to be using my laptop here to show you how you can um, get things done on Taskade using web browser. Uh, the next thing, I'll install an application on my iPad. And finally, I'm going to be using my phone to show you how Taskade can be uh, accessed through the phone. From the web browser, uh, we need to go to taskade.com and click on sign up. Like with many other platforms, you have an option to sign up with Google or your email. I'm led to the next screen where I need to select whether I'm using it for work or personal. I prefer to click on personal and then click continue. Let's now switch to iPad and see uh, what the sign up process looks like there. Uh, once I downloaded the app from the App Store, I see pretty much the same logging screen. So I'm going to click again on Google, go through the motion, uh, put in my email, put in my logging, and get to Taskade. Finally, on my phone, first look for Taskade in the App Store. The screen looks exactly the same. I'll just go through the same process. As you can see, the sign-up process looks pretty seamless and smooth across all three platforms. Now when we are on the platform, let's have a look at the user interface. From the desktop computer in my browser, first thing I see when I log into Taskade is the guide to how to use the Taskade. From my iPad, I cannot see this guide and I'm just taking to the dashboard and the same thing happens on my phone. First thing I do, if I'm working from the desktop computer, I'll click on this little arrow to take me out of this project and to the dashboard. Uh, on your left, you can see navigation panel that will help you navigate your projects or workspaces. Window on the right will give you more information about a particular workspace or the project. To start using Taskade, first thing we need to do is create a workspace. So let's click this button here and give our workspace a name. Once the workspace is created, Taskade will ask you to invite your collaborators or your, or your team to work together with you on this project. There are two ways how you can invite people to join your workspace. You can either input their email that they've used when they register on Taskade, or you can put in their username. I have a team member, Ross, who's using uh, a Taskade as well, and this is his username, Ross Taskade. So to invite him to this workspace, all I need to do is type Ross Taskade, uh, give them the permission whether he will be an editor or just being a viewer. I would like Ross to be the editor, so I'm going to send invite to Ross. Uh, on the Ross's Taskade, I can see a notification, and if I click on activity, I'll see that I've been invited to a workspace teamwork. I have another team member, Joey, who's working from his phone, and if I click in the top left corner, I'll be able to see my username right here. It's Joey Taskade. So what I need to do is simply click on invite people here or in right here and type in his username and click send invite. If I refresh my page now, I'll see that I have three people myself, Ross and Joey. So this is how you can invite people to work with you using username. If you don't know their username, then instead of putting their usernames here, simply click on invite link and forward them the link. We now have our workspace. Uh, we have invited three people. Now let's have a look at how Taskade can help us manage projects. To start a new project, let's click on New and give our project a name. Once your project has a name, let's click and add it to the calendar to let others know what, what's the deadline for this project. It's gonna be November 30. Let's click on Set. Let's put in some of the things that our team needs to accomplish. I'm gonna click on due date and set it next week. What I also want to do is to assign this task to Joey and Ross. Both Joey and Ross receive notifications on there and inviting them or letting them know that this task has been assigned to them. I also like to add a comment 
This is very important. This is my comment to whoever has been assigned to this task. Uh, finally, I can attach a file to task one as well. I prepared a little picture here that will go along with task one. If I now click enter, this will take me to the second task. I can again set the due date and assign this task to three of us. If I want to create a subtask, all I need to do is click enter and then tap. This will create a subordinate task to task two. If I click enter, I'll be taken back and create task three. To add uh, another type of note, you can either do the bullets, numbers, or simply create a paragraph. Finally, you can reorganize your task uh, into different views. By default, I've selected list view. I can now reorganize my task guide or my task or my project into a different board view or mind map. This is what this will look like. We have an organizational chart. Uh, which will look like this. Um, I personally like stick to the list view. I think it gives you a better view of the project. Another collaborative feature of Taskade is live chat. Um, I can initiate a dialogue uh, from, my, from my browser, uh, which will automatically update users working on the iPad or on the mobile device. If you are using Taskade using Google Chrome browser, then you should definitely get a Taskade Google Chrome extension by going to the googlechrome.google.com and looking for Taskade. Once you downloaded Google Chrome extension for the Taskade, you will see a little icon of Taskade in the top right corner. If you click on options and set extension to uh, get you to the last project. Every time you click on the Taskade, Chrome extension will take you to your last project you've been working on. You can add web content or whatever you find on the web to the Taskade. If I hover over YouTube and right click and click on Add to Taskade, select the project where I want to add it to. And if I click on View Project, this will take me to the Taskade and actually show where it is seated in the project. So a really nice, neat feature to save you time if you are using Taskade through the Google Chrome. Let's now have a look at some of the built-in features of Taskade that can help you have a bird's eye view on all the projects that you are currently tracking. To do that, we will need to go to the dashboard by clicking this arrow key. To track the progression of the project, I can switch between the project view to the agenda view. Agenda will give you a bird's eye view on the tasks and whether they are past due date or they're upcoming. Like in this example, I have task three that was supposed to be accomplished on November 10th and it's past due date. I have a task that is due today and I have task three, which is an upcoming task. A roadmap will give you an overview of your projects, not specific tasks. I only have one project in my workspace, which is a to-do list which is due on November 30th. And if I go to the roadmap, hold control and zoom a little bit out and move to November 30th, I'll see my project here. And if I were to have more than one project, they'll be scattered around my calendar because I only have one project as a to-do list. That's the only thing I have on my roadmap. Finally, I can have a look at uh, some of the completed projects. Again, I only have one project that is to-do list. It still hasn't been completed. However, if I mark it as complete, go to completed, the to-do list will be moved uh, to the completed. Today we've looked at Taskade, a tool that helps you and your team get together, assign tasks, and get things done. Some of the functionalities of the Taskade will lend themselves really good to teams that work on project management, or if you're just trying to keep tabs on multiple tasks, multiple tabs at the same time, you're working remotely with a team of people, Taskade will be a nice tool to use. Taskade has some features that haven't been properly developed yet, like for example, call feature has let me down multiple times when I try to initiate the call. But in general, it's a nice, simple tool with a simple and straightforward interface that you and your team can use to get things done. There are a range of advanced features that we haven't covered in this tutorial, like for example, creating a subspace or looking at a Taskade calendar. So if Taskade looks like something that you would like to explore, go ahead and do that. And if you encounter any problems, any questions, leave them in the comment and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. I just want to say thank you for taking your time uh, to check out this video tutorial on Taskade. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.